Hello, welcome back everyone to Rain of Chaos Wrestling Strike Zone, and we are at the final show before Winner's Wrath. Coming out first. There's gonna be some singles action here. We got Sheamus taking on the bomber Dave Mastiff. And throughout the show we will show you the official match card graphics. Coming up first is Sheamus, one half of the former Rancast Wrestling Tag Team Champions. We'll actually throw it up on screen right now. But you can see our first matchup for the show is going to be said Tag Team Championships. It's going to be the bar taking on the Colognes. For the Ranacast Wrestling Tag Team titles at Winner's Wrath. The bar would lose the titles back at Thanks for Nothing against the Colognes. Still the top ranked tag team here in Ranacast Wrestling, only second to the champions, of course. We don't get a huge, a lot of an opportunity to see Sheamus in singles action here. Last week we saw Primo Cologne take on Frostbite of the Elements from 2KCW. Which of course, you can watch that show every Friday on our YouTube channel. But of course, you already knew that because you're watching this show right on YouTube. Primo was successful in defeating Frostbite of the Elements, and we got the Bomber. Bomber Dave Massive, former Twitch champion in his own right. Actually cashed in the title for option C for a world championship match against the then champion Kevin Owens. And speaking of Kevin Owens, he may be walking out of Winner's Wrath as the new world champion if he can defeat AJ Styles. But they're finally getting his rematch. Long overdue since the gala. Dave Mastiff meeting all business here in this opening matchup. It's going to be a big hoss battle, that's for sure. Mastiff and Sheamus. And here we go, bells rung. Sheamus out of the gate with a power slam to the bomber. Crowd here in Brooklyn, voicing their opinions on Sheamus. Knife edge chopped there by Mastiff into the Northern Light Suplex. From the Bomber to the Celtic Warrior. Dragging Sheamus back to the center of the ring and then just series of kicks right into the middle of the back, almost into the, the rib area, trapping the arm now and. Wrenching back with a little bit of finger food from the bomber. Driving the knees right into the center of the back of Sheamus. Mastiff, one of the more athletic big men in professional wrestling. Backbreaker there by Sheamus. For a man of his size, yeah, he can fly like the best of them. Wrist lock controlled by Mastiff, wrenching the arm. And going for a full Nelson suplex. To the Celtic Warrior. Now an elbow right to the top of the skull of Sheamus. Into the cover now. One count from Sheamus. Sheamus back up on his feet. Sheamus more of the brawler. Of the two, but Mastiff can brawl with the best of them as well. As you saw right there with a hard clothesline. Freakish strength on display from the bomber. Like a release gut wrench power bomb 
or suplex. And there's a move that Cesaro utilizes well in his arsenal, the gut wrench suplexes. Sheamus up on his feet though with a backbreaker. From the rear position. Sheamus into the cover now on Mastiff. One count from the bomber. Sheamus just teeing off here on the bomber. Dave Mastiff. I'd like to remind everyone that after Winner's Wrath, our next event is going to be Clash of Ages. One night only event where. The past, present, and future stars of Random Chaos Wrestling will compete. The Tiger Driver, thereby the Bomber, rolling into the cover on Sheamus and Cesaro, distracting the referee, preventing Massive from getting the victory. Massive thinks he's won it, albeit the, re albeit the bell has not rung. So our random cast wrestling clash of ages will be in fact the week after winner's wrath and after that will be hell on earth a date yet since officially been announced for hell on earth running powerbomb there by mastiff it was that hell on earth back in 2016 where sasha banks would win her first women's championship. And Sasha's looking to repeat history and win it. Possibly at Winner's Wrath. Massive in firm control of Sheamus here. Driving Sheamus into the turnbuckle pad animal stylist. At some point Cesaro introduces Steel Chair into the match. Massive. Gutbuster, thought he was looking for an air raid siren. Nope, into the running senton. Could collapse a lung or break a rib to Sheamus. Two count. The referee seeing the chair that was introduced by Cesaro, disposing of it. Over the top rope goes Mastiff, and now the 10 beats of the Bodrum. Smashes outside the ring now. Series of right hands from Sheamus. Another Northern Light suplex this time out on the floor with a thin padding. You can see where the padding and the cement start. So the wrist locked clothesline there by Sheamus taking down Mastiff. Now Mastiff answering back. Look at those combinations of elbows left and right. Massive setting up into the void. Into the void on Sheamus after those elbows on the outside. Rolling to the cover here. And Mastiff picks up a victory over Sheamus. A hard hitting affair this was. A lot of strikes being shown, not a lot of wrestling. But what can you expect from the countrymen who this country is one of their popular sports, bare knuckle boxing. And then you see the Tiger Driver. Which has been a sign for Mastiff to close out many victories, including his reign as the Twitch champion. Offense from the bomber on display. Well, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Kaylee Ray in action ahead of her no holds bar match against Mickey James. Don't go anywhere. And 
Coming up next to prepare Kaylee Ray for her matchup, we got Mighty Charlie Evans from down in 2KCW, which you can catch Fridays on our YouTube channel. And Charlie Evans and making her name for herself over there in 2KCW. Scoring fair enough in the Girls Grand Prix. That was eventually won by Dizzy, well, by Candice LeRae, rather, to face Dizzy Jet for the new women's championship over there. But Charlie Evans, you're facing the scary queen of Scots herself, Kaylee Ray. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about Kaylee Ray walking away from this matchup like she did with. Mickey James, and speaking of which, if you don't recall from last week, that that match has been confirmed now. It is a no holds barred match where if Mickey James loses, she must leave Reign of Chaos Wrestling. So it seems to be an all winning, an all win kind of situation for Kaylee Ray. Nothing for her to lose except some. Pride and dignity, maybe. Here's what we like to see some sportsmanship here between Kaylee Ray, but I think it's just at ah, mind games. Mind games applied by Kaylee Ray against young Charlie Evans. Here we go. The bell officially rings and out of the game. Shoulder tackle by Kaylee Ray. You never count Charlie Evans out of a fight, but she might be fighting an uphill battle here against Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray with a roll through super kick. Of course, Kaylee Ray, a former WCPW or Defiant Women's Champion, Progress Women's Champion. Forefront of British wrestling. Ray continuing with kicks in the onslaught to the back of Charlie Evans. And now shoots the half into the cover. No leg hooked. Kick out by Charlie. Not even at one. And again, focusing on the lower end of the back is Kaylee Ray. But Charlie with a DDT. With a backflip to celebrate, and Kaylee Ray rolled to the outside. Almost like she was embarrassed. She was taken off her game by Charlie running knee. Eating turnbuckle padding. Tilt the world DAT by Charlie. And of course, as they say, it's never the size of the dog as much as it is the dog in the fight. However that goes, I butcher that tremendously, I know. Cover hook about here by Charlie. Kick out and barely a one. My clothesline dumping Charlie out up and over out in the ring. And this matchup will continue. Outside the ring, Kaylee Ray snap suplex. To a power slam position with the unguarded guardrail. I thought Kaylee was going to drop her over the guardrail, but he goes for the steps instead. Charlie gaining position here over Kaylee Ray, face first into the apron or the steps. Hard to tell. Back in the ring we go now. Charlie continuing to stomp it. Ray, Hurricane Rana. Catching Kaylee Ray off guard. And a DT of her own is Kaylee Ray. And now Ray with repeated kicks to the face of Charlie. And now focusing on the arm now, looking to separate the shoulder, tear the ligaments. 
arm of Charlie Evans still keeping the wrist lock control, but Charlie able to get an elbow free. Nice outside round kick there by Charlie. Ducked under into another Hurricane Rana. Another kick right to the bang of the thigh. Kaylee Rain again. This match goes outside the ring. Camera crew right there. Keeping on top of the action. And now Charlie Evans going face first into the steel ring post. Oh my god. I don't even think this match is even about winning for Kaylee Ray as much as it is to send a message to Mickey James. Kaylee Ray just wants to embarrass this young woman and end her career early, but Charlie fighting back here. Again, you can never count out Charlie. She's had her whole rivalry with the Suicide Blondes. Taking out both members until it became a handicap match, and then essentially they were given the win, but not without a fight did Charlie. Charlie Evans with the Spine Buster. The Kaylee Ray. This be enough to put away Kaylee Rain to score an upset here. Charlie Evans, two count. Ray still alive. And Charlie now looking for a bit of a code red here. Now Charlie going the distance. We're going to hit a super duper kick that has earned her several victories in her career so far. Connects. Right on the button. This will be enough to score the upset. Charlie Evans. Charlie has beaten Kaylee Ray. Mighty Charlie has defeated Kaylee Ray. In her debut here and on Strike Zone, Charlie Evans. They have a big victory. That will shake up the landscape down there in 2KCW a bit for Dizzy Jet and her women's championship. That's for sure. The stock continues to rise for Charlie Evans. Take a look at the closing moments. There's the spine buster from Charlie. And there it is, the closing seconds, the super duper kick. Connects and scores the victory for Charlie. Congratulations, Charlie. As we continue to prepare for Winner's Wrath, Matt Cardona gets his shot at Bobby Roode in the Twist Championship. We'll see Cardona in action next. Well, let's not forget either that this is also a match, a warm-up match for Angelo Dawkins as he goes face to face with his former tag team partner Montez Ford again at Winner's Wrath Ford and Dawkins too and then again Matt Cardona the self-proclaimed internet champion will be facing Bobby Roode the Twitch champion here of Rain of Chaos Wrestling I mean we we can safely assume that it will be Bobby Roode, but we'll have to wait and see in our main event as Bobby Roode will put the title on the line against Montez Ford. So whether, no matter who's going to walk out the victory in our main event, Matt Cardona is going to get a Twist Championship match, whether it is Bobby Roode or Montez Ford. previously on 
other outings here in singles competition been coming up short. Here comes Matt Cardona. Cardona, one of my personal favorites, and I hope he is yours as well at home. Dawkins and Cardona. Either way, it'll be momentum being brought. Two winners' wrath dropkick there by Cardona. A series of right elbows from Cardona. Lighting up the chest of Dawkins. Dawkins with a double leg takedown. See the height off that takedown, my goodness. Now into the jawbreaker by Cardona. Cardona with a crucifix bomb. You don't see that very often out of his arsenal. Cardona, one of the most underrated, underutilized talents in professional wrestling. Now waistlock takedown. The amateur style of Dawkins coming into play here. Spear. Into the cover on Cardona of the spear. No. No way in hell he's going to even score at least a one. But again, a knee right to the abdomen. And then Luthez press here by Dawkins. Technical background looks like. Tackle, amateur wrestling background for Angelo Dawkins. Rear chin lock applied, slowing down the pace. Of course, Dawkins being the powerhouse of the Street Profits. That would better him in his favor. Slowing down the pace. Spinning splash empty for Ford. Cardona trying to get momentum going here. Back elbow. Oh! Right into the temple of Cardona. Over here by Dawkins. One count. Matt Cardona is always here, always ready. Always ready to go, and he always brings his A game with him. Another running drop kick to Dawkins to the back that time. Cardona with a flying forearm. Taking down Dawkins. Cardona. Sets him up in the corner. But I was going to go for the reboot. So he goes for a powerbomb out of the corner. Now Cardona actually setting up here for the radio silence. And it connects to Dawkins. Rolling into the cover. Cardona to pick up the victory here. No, not yet, says Dawkins. Dawkins staying alive. Cardona still throwing up the LI. Whether it be with his index or his middle finger. Depending on where he stands and where he's at. In Brooklyn, that would probably be the latter. Cardona again looking for the splash or a form in the corner. Dawkins able to counter. Softball punch missing. Off the ropes. Able to connect with anything so far. Cardona now. Again, I thought it was going for the reboot, but not yet. Oh my god, the forearms. Unprotected shots right to the spine of Angelo Dawkins. Now what's Cardona looking for here? Looking for a backstabber. To Angelo Dawkins. Mm -hmm. 
Ardona now. Finally setting up. Not quite yet for the reboot. And clothesline coming in from Dawkins. Ground and pound style from Angelo Dawkins. And there's that softball right punch from Dawkins. Cover on Cardona. And kick out by Cardona. Dawkins can barely believe it. Jawbreaker by Cardona. Cardona has to find a way to get back in this match. Yet again, here we go again. Another crucifix bomb. This time into the cover. Two count. He had that pin in deep. Snapmare into a side headlock here. More of a scarfold, rather, by Cardona. Cardona wrenching on the neck of Dawkins. Now Dawkins with a standing side headlock. And into the radio silence from out of nowhere, Cardona. Going to be able to pick up the victory here, too. Three, yes, Cardona. It's the victory and momentum heading into Winner's Wrath for the Twist Championship. Cardona, all business here. Picking up the victory over Angelo Dawkins. Ladies and gentlemen, we got some more action coming up for you. Don't go anywhere. Gentlemen, time for our co-main event. A former Rana Gas Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins taking on the current Heavyweight Champion, AJ Styles. Here in our main event, or co-main event rather, excuse me. Rollins defeated Prince Devitt to win the World Championship back in 2017 at overtime. Overtime or final bell, I don't recall exactly off the top of my head right now. But since our relaunch, Rollins has had a series of ups and, ups and downs so far. Plays pretty well in the inaugural championship when the title was vacant. Only to be defeated, I believe, by Kevin Owens. Because on the other side of that bracket was Dave Mastiff. Seth Rollins ready to go here against the current champion AJ Styles and of course being accompanied by Dominic Mysterio former Twitch champion This be the scene at the close of Winner's Wrath. The AJ Styles walks out as the world champion. We'll have to wait and find out next week. AJ Styles has been everywhere and he's done it all. Bonafide legend. No matter where you stand, if it's in TNA history and 
New Japan or even in general mission wrestling, AJ Styles is a legend, no doubt about it. One of the greatest to ever lace up a pair of boots. And it's great to have him as our world champion. As we get our co-main event started, Rollins immediately going up to the turnbuckle. That's very uncharacteristic of Rollins out of the gate. AJ looking for it here. I'm not quite sure. Looking for a superplex. It looks like out of the gate. Very unorthodox, unorthodox start to this match. That's for sure. Double leg takedown by Rollins. A standing moonsault there by Rollins. AJ kicks the leg into a dragon screw takedown. Now working the right arm. Seth Rollins wrenching it out of socket. But on the receiving end of that, someone who's also dealing with shoulder issues. AJ off the ropes, rounds into a tilt world neck breaker, beautifully done. Now, arm track face buster. By Rollins, spinning back kick by Rollins. AJ caught on the ropes. Rollins again with another tilt world neck breaker. Focusing on the arms is the name of the game in this matchup. Almost barely a two count there by AJ. Rollins driving the knee. The upper spine of AJ and then again focusing on the other arm that time. Looks like going for something with a belly to belly. And now AJ immediately into the calf crusher. The calf crusher on Rollins here. I don't know if that's the surgically repaired knee, but there's the bloody Sunday from AJ. I don't know if he had the calf crusher on the on that surgically repaired knee of Rollins or well, that's the other one. I'm not quite sure but here we go with the phenomenal forearm by AJ Dominic absolutely trying to cheer on his teacher here two count and Rollins kicks out of the phenomenal forearm Raymond's carry counter by Rollins kick to the gut by AJ to his own corner. Rollins ducks it. And now Rollins with a roll through. Super kick by Rollins. And Rollins with a knife edge chop. Lighting up the chest of AJ. Oh no. No, no, no. The turnbuckle bomb by Rollins. That's not a move I like to see as that turnbuckle bomb, but here we go with the ripcord knee. Connects by Rollins into the cover. And Rollins has been the world champion. Seth Rollins picking up a victory over AJ prior to his match against Kevin Owens. That winner's wrath, my goodness. I don't think anybody expected that, that's for sure. That's one surefire way to still assert yourself in the world title conversation is to beat world of the to be a conversation. I can barely even carry on one to assert yourself in the conversation into the world championship picture. Seth Rollins picking up the victory over AJ as we move on to our our main event, Ford and Rude for the Twitch title.
Montez Ford gearing up for a huge opportunity in his singles career the challenge for the twist championship is Bobby Roode uh, head of his potential match against Matt Cardona who we saw pick up a victory earlier on tonight again Cardona can either face Roode or Ford it's presumed to be Roode Here's just something to be aware of for the folks at home. If Rude can retain his title here against Ford and then do so at Winner's Wrath, then Bobby Rude can qualify for option C to cash in the Twitch Championship for a world title opportunity the same as Dave Mastiff. Albeit I don't hope, I don't wish the result is the same as what happened to Dave Mastiff on Bobby Roode. Failing to capture the world championship. So immediately the odds are not in Bobby's favor if he is able to retain the championship. We have to wait for Rude to grace the Tron area with his presence, and then we can cut to cut the formalities and get started right into the match. And that's what they're fighting for. That's what's on the line here in our main event. Ford and Rude for the Twist Championship. Let's get it on, ref. And here we go, Color Nobo. Tie up Ford with the wrist control. Over the champion for the moment, still keeping that wrist control. And now pinning him to the. He's got one knee on the ground. Dawkins, or excuse me, Ford, surprisingly with the technical advantage, but then Rude trans. Transitioning it into an arm bar. Here we go again. Our collar and elbow tie this time. Rude with the wrist control. Also into an Americana kind of position. Side headlock by Ford. Honestly, kind of catching me by surprise. The technical, technical wrestling on display by Montez Ford. He's more of the high flyer type. Bobby Roode, more the technician. But we already knew that. Four now in control. Lighting up Roode with a series of chops and Roode answering back with a solid gut punch to a power slam position. Running on power slam into the rope. The turnbuckles and on to the mat. Goes Roode. Gut kick. Countered into a reverse. Time buster there by Ford. Atomic drop, rather. Into a knee drop. Ford sent into the turnbuckle. Closed line by Rude. Jump breaker by Ford into the running bulldog. Again, what a coup this would be for. Montez Ford. So, I guess I would beg the question: If Rude, or excuse me, if Ford wins the championship here, Ford would be pulling double duty at Winner's Wrath. He'd be facing off against Angelo Dawkins in a non-title contest, but then he'd also be facing Matt Cardona.
Should be DD2 there by Ford. Now Ford up in the top turnbuckle looking for the splash. No, he goes for the elbow drop instead. To the cover, two count. And then clothesline by Ford. Or excuse me, Rude. And Rude with a spine buster. Leveling. Ford. Shove him back down to the mat into the cover. One leg, far leg hooked. Grizzly flying over the top rope with a sated sent on. And now Ford with a vertical suplex taking down Rude. Now Ford looking to seize the moment. The frog splash connects the Rude. Is it going to be enough? Ford going to win the title here? No, Rude. It's the kick out saving his championship. Now Ford posing for the crowd. Gonna feel their energy, another running bulldog by Ford. Back elbow by Rude into the forehead of Ford. Into the knee drop, Rude. In control. Rude with a perfect plex. He was forced to break with Ford's feet well within the ropes. A prime position, scoop slam there by Ford. Now Ford. Again, trying to feel the energy here in Brooklyn for his first singles championship. Breaker by Ford. Another back over by Rude. Rude wasting very little time here. Rude going for the glorious bomb into the cover to retain his title. Yes, Bobby Rude retains the Twist Championship. Now it is without a doubt confirmed now. It will be Rude versus Cardona for the Twist Championship at Winner's Wrath. I'd like to thank everybody so much for watching. We'll see you right here next week. Not on Strike Zone, but for Winner's Wrath, that's where we like to see the sportsmanship. Please consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification, and hitting that like button. See you guys next week.